Anais, how good did it feel to get out there with no restrictions after the way last season ended up in Dallas? Uh, well, I wish I um, didn't have a yellow jersey on. But, uh, nah, it felt real good. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> I've been out there practicing. It would not um, just to be out there in Kyle Field again, uh, getting a game like environment. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the stadium wasn't as packed and we wasn't playing a full game and whatnot. But um, no, nah, it was fun. Uh, going out there competing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Finding the tempo in our offense, making sure um, that you know we finishing plays and going all the way to the whistle. It felt real good just being out there. We'll go front row on the right side to Cole and then Olin. Anais, on your last catch, she was down at the one-yard line, but then you can see Coach Fisher run over the sideline mm -hmm. screen. No, it's six, it's six. Did you think at that point, were you, like, pointing to Coach and be like, no, no, I'm in? Did you know <laughs> at then? Uh, nah, honestly, at first, I originally thought that I was already in. Like, I had looked to the side, and then I had seen him spot me on the one. And I was like, okay, that's, I mean, we finna just go in and go score right here then. But, um, nah, I had turned around, and I had seen him. I was like, okay, cool. But, yeah, that was a cooler deal, so... And then today was a little bit different because if you saw Max and Connor work with both teams, so mm -hmm. you got to catch balls from both of them. And throughout the entire just camp, where have you seen them mature as passers, but also where have you seen them raise the level of expectation for the quarterback position? Uh, man, that's a great question. Um, I'll say uh, connected downfield is one area that you know they have both improved in. Uh, they were both already great at that, um, but it's starting to look a little bit more consistent, I'll say. Um, and then on top of that, uh, really just, you know, voicing their opinions, um, voicing how they feel the team should be going. You know what I'm saying? That has improved a whole lot this year. And really just, you know, the want to and the attitude that they have towards winning is really improved. So I'll say all three of those aspects have went up tremendously. We'll go second row on the right side to Olin and then back to TV row. Yeah, Nias, um, are there any things that you can, specific things that you can uh, think of this spring that you've seen or an experience that would lead you to believe that the offense uh, this fall will be much more productive than it was last year? Uh, one thing that I'll say, um, it, I don't know if y'all seen, but we don't have, you know what I'm saying, the numbers that we probably had had in the past um, when it comes to the receiver core or the offense in general. As you can see, we had our offensive line going for both teams. Um, receivers was flipping from teams at times. We had to throw in a few backups on our team. Uh, it was that right there, I feel like, is a real key important role for um, where we're going to go just because um, we don't have the depth to be able to get the rest or um, not get as many reps as we would in practice as of now. Um, we're like, everybody is going, everybody is getting reps, even the freshmen, they had to go. So it's like, with that, everybody is getting on the same page, you know what I'm saying? Making sure that we're all on the same connection, same wavelength, I, I should say. And I believe those reps that we've been getting in practice have really been beneficial um, to our success, uh, getting the production that we need and want, um, being able to watch all of that on film, come back together. I really just say it's like more of a family environment. And now that it's not that many of us, so we're always together. So We'll go back behind the lights on the right side to Nicole and then Ben. Hey, Anais, kind of going off of that, being a veteran leader on this team and now going through the spring, how do you feel that this team, like what is your, are you hopeful for this team? Um, how do you think this team is going to be compared to last year? Oh, man, yeah. Um, spring is coming to an end, and um, I can definitely say this is probably one of the most interesting springs that I've went through just because of how fun it was. You know what I'm saying? We were out there every day competing, even on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? On Saturdays, most of the time, people don't usually want to wake up, go out there and practice in the heat, or some some days it was cold this year. Um, but I mean, was, even when we was out there and some people didn't want to be out there, we was getting very good work, you know what I'm saying? Great quality work, offense and defense. Um, sometimes we were beating ourselves and then like, other like the other opposing side will um, 
capitalize off of that or whatnot. But no, nah, this year has definitely been um, very, very hopeful. Very helpful, for sure. We'll stay on TV row. Go to the right side to Ben. And I said, uh, just when you look at yourself, Evan, Noah, Moose, even, you know, we saw Micah today, uh, in terms of stretching the ball down the field, it seems like we've seen each one of you guys beat teams deep before. Do you feel like that's something collectively as a unit y'all pride yourself on that any combination of those guys, you know, defense is, it's kind of impossible for defense to key in on any one guy. And how, how do you think you guys are in terms of maximizing that aspect of your productivity? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, I feel like all of us, you know, are a deep threat in our own ways. Um, any one of us can go deep on the fade ball, post ball, inside fade, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I feel like with all of us having, you know, all different talents and basically ways that we can get the ball, we definitely complement each other. Um, my coach tells us that almost all the time, but uh, no, we definitely play very well together. Um, you can put in a number of packages, combinations of receivers that you want out there, talent, speed, like strength, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can, you got the best of all worlds when in our receiver course. So I mean, um, like you were saying, we definitely uh, have the ability to go deep this year. Our quarterbacks are definitely able to throw it deep. Um, and with that, I believe it's just going to be a mismatch for everybody on the field. We'll go third row on the left side to Carter and then wrap things up with Cole. Anais, uh, as you've gotten to know Bobby Petrino a little bit more this spring, just what what more have you learned from him and just the, the philosophies that he brings? What do you feel like are some of the ones that will be great for this offense? Uh, yeah, just really, um, when I had first met him, I was very you know intrigued to see how he will, you know what I'm saying, get along with everybody on the team. Um, and he low-key surprised me because uh, when he came in, he was very quiet at first. I'm not going to lie. He was very soft-spoken. But he definitely knew exactly what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And um, one of those, well, he has a few things that he wants. But a lot of them, uh, one of them is, you know, finishing, uh, playing with speed, um, making sure that we're coming off the ball, like, Everywhere though, offensive line, receivers, running back, um, making sure that we're just playing with intensity. You know what I'm saying, and have some want to out there and make it seem like we actually want to win. So uh, really, just playing with speed, playing faster than the people that are in front of us. And we keep hearing on and on about Noah Thomas and just stuff that he does in practice. Yeah. We didn't get to see it as much today with him getting hurt, but just what does he do in practice day in and day out that impresses you? <laughs> Man, he just does everything right. You know what I'm saying? It's it's hard for a human being um, to go out and force himself to do everything right every single day. You know what I'm saying? Like some people may not wake up and make their bed in the morning, or some people may not, you know what I'm saying, get up and brush their teeth or whatever. It all depends. But Noah is somebody that, you know what I'm saying, goes out and does his job every single time, full speed, no matter how he feeling. No matter how tired he is, he's going to go out there and put his heart on the line and get the job done. That's the thing. It's like, he'll go out there, completely guys coming back from running three posts to fade, and then he got to come back for another post, go deep, catch it with one hand, like something crazy like that. So it's just, he just plays real hard. Um, he never has an attitude, not, never complains about anything. He just put his head down and work. We'll go front row on the right side to Cole to close us out. Carter stole part of my question about mm -hmm. talking about Noah, but there was another receiver that had a big touchdown pass today in Micah Tease. Mm -hmm. when, when you look at a guy who still is supposed to be in his last semester of high school mm -hmm. and he's making these type of plays, what does the value of him being here early do for not just the locker room, but for him as a role player early on in his career? Yeah, man. Um, I told him, like, you got to fit in where you get in. You know what I'm saying? Whether you become a blocker, whether you become like a slant catcher, whatever it is, a deep threat, like you got to find your role and you got to maximize it. So, I mean, right now he's still searching for his role. You know what I'm saying? I just told him go out there every single day and play your heart out. Learn your playbook. You know what I'm saying? We'll come home after practice. Him, me, uh, Shoes, Ray, all them young guys, we'll go and watch film together. You know what I'm saying? So just for him to be able to come in early, um, the tenacity that he brings, 
that he brings to want to learn inside of the meeting rooms is very impressive to me. Um, both him and Ray, you know what I'm saying, they both come in uh, with the mindset that not necessarily I want to, you know what I'm saying, like forget everybody that's already here, you know what I'm saying, but they coming in wanting to help the team. And I feel like uh, that's with them coming in right now has benefited them in a way to, of course, you know, get the eyes on them from the coaches, uh, from the players, get the trust and from the players, you know what I'm saying, from the coaches and really just building confidence for themselves, you know what I'm saying, just being able to show themselves that uh, they can go out there and compete at the highest level. So I believe, you know, them coming in early and doing what they're doing is blessing them. All right, thank you, Anais. Yes, ma'am. Thank you all. God bless.